Okay, uh, I'm going to show you how to put the articles in the front of the, um, the home page of Lolcats. So, so what I've done is I've installed uh, this plugin called List Category Posts. So you should just search on this. And um, it allows you to put in things like recent posts, but have a lot more control, a lot more granularity. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hop over to Appearance and I'm going to create a new widget. So in my widgets category, I've got these are my available widgets and you'll notice I have a new widget category or an available widget called list category posts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this into widgets for short codes. This will allow me to drop this in on any page as a chunk of of code. So I'm going to take list category posts and I'm going to drop it in. And I can get put this in here and I can say latest news. Now, one thing that I've done before this is I've actually posted, made some posts and created uh, categories. So I've got two categories currently. I've got articles and I've got um, posts. So what I'll do, and I still have uncategorized, which is what comes by default. So I'll, uh, I'll hop over there and show you in a second. But if I click here, I, you'll see that I've got two um, categories here. So what you're going to do is you're going to sort, you're going to create posts just like you would um, for blog posting, but these will be special posts. These are articles, and these will land on the front page. You can also have old old articles uh, page that just shows those, and we can make another um, category for those if we want, and and have that or another page for those. But for now, I'm going to do. I'm going to show the title as latest news. Uh, the category is article. I'm going to show three because our design has three articles on the front page. Offset. So if I want to show like five, six, and seven articles, you know, uh, articles five, six, and seven, as opposed to articles the latest, you know, 10, 9, and 8, I can do that here. I can offset by three. I can show you why this is, this is important um, later, but, but for now we're going to leave it blank. We're going to order by date. We're going to order descending. I'm going to leave that. We can say exclude certain categories, exclude certain posts. I'm going to leave all that blank. Now, this is where we get into some granularity. It's going to show, uh, ask us what we want to show. So I say, look, um, on that front page, we've got a title. So um, it's going to show title by default. Um, we can do modified date author. I'm going to leave all of these. Uh, blank except the excerpt. Now the excerpt is important. We could show the entire article if we wanted. The problem is um, you're, you're going to have some trouble controlling your, the size of your text and con controlling the size of your space. And some people just get crazy and put in a ton of information that doesn't need to be there. If they want to make uh, an impact, you want just a little bit of a teaser, let them click on more, they'll go off to that. So I'm going to set this to 200 characters right now. And then I'm just going to say more, and then they can go off to another page and see more. Um, tags as class, I'm going to leave that blank. Uh, obviously, we can say, uh, we can add tags to articles and then turn those into classes and then affect them with style sheets. Don't want to do that for right now. Now, I'm going to click Save. And save gives me something to copy. So this is my shortcut to this widget. So I've got that. And I can close this now. And it's it's right here, my latest news. So now what I can do is I want to go over to my page, my home page. So I'm going to go to all pages. And you notice I've got a home page here. I'm going to click on that. And I've already dropped this in. I'm going to delete this because I can't remember if I did it right. I'm going to paste it in. Okay, so, so I've just pasted this widget in. And it doesn't matter whether you're in visual or text mode. Um, for the safety's sake, put it in visual mode and paste that in. And so now I'm going to say update. And I'm going to hop over and I'm going to look at this. We'll close this for the moment. And I'm going to refresh. And I have a list. You notice I've got a bullet right there. It's a dead giveaway that I've got an unordered list. Um, I've got a title for the article. I can click on the title and I can jump off to that. Um, you notice that it does truncate it with dot, dot, dot. So it's, it's a shortened article. Here's one that's a short post that just has uh, one single sentence. So there's no more um, info there. 
And then a more link takes you to more articles. So if I click on that, I can say, show me all articles. And now it'll show all articles here. And so I could have 100 articles, but um, only display the first three. For example, um, actually, and this would, would, we could do this by doing an offset um, as well. So we could show more articles that way. So right now we're showing, you know, the last, the two latest articles, and then we'll add another one. Uh, we'll have three articles, but uh, we could, we could offset those as well. All right. So, so what I've got here now is, like I said, is an unordered list of posts. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to inspect. And then I'm just going to kind of try to figure out what's going on here by rolling over this. So primary content, content, it's a post, there's a header, there's entry, list category post widget 2. All right, so that's an aside, but that's an ID of list category post 2. Um, and then you notice that we get an, a UL and then an LI. So what I'm going to, the way I'm going to attack this is I could say, look, make all LIs, you know, show as, um, oh, you know, list style none and display um, as an inline block and, it, and they'll kind of display it the same way you would a menu. And I'm going to do that, but I don't want to do just all LIs. I want to do just the list category, um, all LIs within list category post widget dash two within that ID. So I'll show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here and actually I'm going to go back to edit page and I can actually edit the code here if I want. I want to, um, I'm going to avoid that. I don't want to put my CSS in a specific page. I want to be able to um, edit my CSS everywhere. So if I go here, simple CSS, I believe that is where I want it. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go hashtag list categories widget dash two. Let me just go back and confirm that I did that right. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to simple. And boom, there I have it. Now, I could say anything inside here, but I can say also, look, if you're a list item within this ID, then do this. And I can say, we're gonna display as, instead of as a block, I want it to be an inline block. And I'm gonna close that. Now let's just save it. Okay, so it's saved. I'm gonna hop over here and I'm gonna close this. And I'm going to refresh this page and see what happens. Okay, so my bullet points went away, so it did work. But my, you can see my problem here is, is that it goes all the way across, and I only want this to be a third of the way across the page So because I want three articles across here. So what I'm going to do back, like now is I'm actually going to set the width of a list item to 32%. I know 33% is a third, but I like to have a little bit of safety. Okay, I'm going to save that. I'm going to hop over here and I'm going to refresh. And there it is. It's one third. Well, okay, so now you see another problem here is, is that the text drops down below. Well, and, they, and they're flush with the bottom. And that's not what I want. I want them all to be flush top. It looks like my, it also looks like my amount of text is probably too much here. So I want to actually cut this down from maybe 200 characters for the excerpt to I don't know, 150, but we'll deal with that in a minute. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want this 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 block to be right here, and the way that we're going to do that is with float. So I'm going to say float left and save it. And I'll hop back over and I'm going to refresh, and now everything is up at the top here. So one last thing here is is I've got this more link, and this is for more articles. This is more for this entire block. Well, when I add my third article here, in theory, it should just drop in. And so what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to actually create one more um, list item. I'm sorry, one more post here in my, in my posts. And then I'll come back and we'll, we'll see how it looks. So I'm going to add a new post. 
And I'm going to say this is the third article. And I'm going to do just like I do with the other ones. I'm going to add media here. Um, I don't know. This one, sure. And insert that. And then I'm going to just type some, some text. And actually, you can see what's happening here. I don't want to do that. Okay, so we've got some, some code here, uh, or some text here for my, my post. And last thing I want to make sure I do is I want to tag this or categorize this as an article. And now if I publish that, it's published. I'm going to hop over to my front page. I'm going to refresh and nothing happens. Actually, it does happen. You can see. So my most recent article is right here. My second most recent, our recent article is here. And then I've got a break here. And so what it's doing is doing one, two, and then there's not enough width here. So it breaks and drops down. So let's go back to our appearance and go back to our simple CSS. And then this time I'm going to say, look, let's just make this 30%. And just for giggles, I'm going to set a background on this and set it to gray. Or actually, I'm going to something a little lighter gray. And so that'll show me my blocks and show me how things are kind of laying out. And so I'll come back here and I refresh. Okay, so I still have the problem. Um, see, you can see how much space there is between these. So this is a lot of space here that's going on. So instead of actually keep reducing the width of this, I want these to be closer together anyway. So let's go back and tweak this a little bit. So let's reduce the margin. I have no idea what the margin is, but I'm going to set it to three pixels. I'm going to reduce, uh, actually the padding was okay. If we come back and look, you can see actually my padding is kind of bad. I've got it butting against my background and that's no good. So let's add some padding of one pix. And you know, my instinct is, is that the UL probably has a lot of padding around it as well. And so I'm just going to take this and copy it. I'm just guessing here, but for now, I'm going to say, look, make the margin on this zero. Oops. And the padding. Come on now. Zero. One more time. There we go. Oh, a typo. All right, there we go. Close it. And so now what I'm doing is is taking away all the padding and the margin away from the UL. I may have to look around and see what other things are adding padding in there. There's always lots of that that you may need to adjust. Okay, so I saved it. Come back here and I refresh. And there we go. So I've reduced my um, my width of my um, my margins and I've done a good job with that. Um, I've still got some issues here with, with padding on the inside here. I need some more padding and, and something's going on that it's not uh, overriding it. But um, <clears throat> I'll deal with that in a minute. I gotta fix this more button here. So what I'm gonna do now is bump up my, my, my um, width back up to 32%. And so that's gonna take care of a lot of space of, space so hopefully yeah so it's still not breaking that so that's interesting here that it's not breaking that cat that that line um, one thing I'm wondering if I can do is on the UL well let's let's look at this first let's let's just right click instead of guessing so I'm gonna inspect this let's figure out why this more is right here so if I click on that so that's a that where is that more? Um, there it is. There's that more, and you notice that it's outside the UL. And so one of the things that we can do is we can take away um, any floats, and or or actually make it display as an inline block. There's ways to break this. Um, so nothing can be following the um, the UL. So you can see it's like I said, it's outside the UL here, and that's what I want to go after is get rid of that more after the URL UL. So let's see. So what I can do is after the UL, I can say 
um, float none, and we'll try that. Let's just try that. So I'm telling it, don't, don't float anything, even though it is floating. Okay, so it still, still does it. Let's just clear this just for fun. Yeah, that didn't work. <clears throat> My other instinct is, is that there's a CSS clear attribute or property. And no floating elements allowed on the left or right side of a specific uh, P element, specified P element. So p.clear is clear both. So let's try clear. And let's save it. And refresh. Still not doing it. When I'm boy, that's that's a challenge. And let's inspect it one more time. Where is that more? Well, there's the more. So it's inside list categories. Um, there is no class with it. Uh, hmm, tricky. So if I click on that, what's my CSS getting me there? Color, text decoration, auto line. I happen to click on the UL. What does that give me? Okay, after much uh, soul searching and gnashing of teeth and looking around, um, I went ahead and I did a couple of things. I tried this. I tried to, to just go to the um, widget itself or the, um, the class, I'm sorry, the ID for the widget and said clear, float, none. That didn't work. Um, what I really ended up doing was adjusting the margin and the padding, and I did set a height to the, um, to the list item. Um, tag and so what that did was it, it forces it to fit within the space so they're all exactly the same size which was important um, and then eventually it just magically dropped down here to the bottom but uh, again changing my mad my my padding and my width so, so I, I had this to like set this to one and let's see if that undoes the uh, yeah, so I um, beats me. I you know I set the padding to one, um, from one to three on the list items, and it and it magically broke the the more down to the bottom line. So um, it sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's a little just a little finicky and does what it wants to do. Um, the next question is is um, oops. is why, but um, we'll have to sort that out later. So um, I, I'm gonna go back to this more, actually I'm gonna go back to this text overflow or this text uh, excerpt, and I'm gonna set this down to maybe um, half as many characters or even less. And so we'll, we'll go back here to customize, nope, to um, here, and I'm gonna go to my widget and I'm going to go to my short code for widget and I'm going to adjust this to the excerpt to it's 200. I'm going to set it to 100. I'm going to save that. I'm going to hop over here to this page. I'm going to refresh it and I'm going to look at that and it's just a little too tight. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know, maybe another, uh, I'm going to take it down to 80 words. Or 80 characters, sorry. There we go. And if I wanted to see more, I can click on that. Now I can go in and, you know, this is this is where it gets a little easier is, is that you can click on this and you can see the, um, uh, the styles and the class and so on. So this is a, um, a link within the LI, so I can go to my CSS and single CSS, and I can say, well, just, just copy, oops, just copy this, 
and I can say look if it's a if it's inside the ID of list categories post widget two and it's inside an LI and it's an anchor tag set the color to white and close it and I can say you know make the size uh, like 18 pixels um, let's just save that and just see if we got some changes to our so there it is so set you know I can set the text decoration to none I can adjust the font do whatever I want but basically that's pretty straightforward right it's it's a um, it's in, anything inside the list category posts widget 2 that's a list item that's an uh, anchor tag then do this to it you know so we, we've changed this I'll turn that text decoration off Yeah, still underlining it here. One of the tricks, um, all right, I'm gonna stop there. But but you can see though, I'm gonna get rid of this and, and the break is there. I'm still having some problems here. So if I shrink this, what happens? You know, we keep shrinking it. Good, 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 good. Okay, so you can see that we're probably doing something like a um, uh, at media tag and we may have to add that at media tag to adjust here so there if you look back at the CSS for the actual CSS for the theme if we go to the editor and if I just search at media so there we go if this if the width is minimum 600 do this so we might have to modify our, our at media post tags as well so it has all of these different sizes. So it has for print, for the width of 600, for the width of 960. So there's three actual media tags there. So that's something to think about as well. You can actually go ahead and drop some of your code in here. Maybe bust that from a third of the width when it gets down to a certain width to 100% of the width. And that will automatically bust the, uh, the list items full screen. So that will help. Um, hopefully this will help. Um, I think we've sort of solved the, uh, the more problem and there you have it.